Hello and welcome to another episode of Lisp Game Engine Devlog. So today we are talking about the week of 29th of uh, January 2024. And yeah, let me start with the things that I didn't do this week. So I was going to actually uh, like put in public my library related to behavior trees, but I didn't. I didn't because I find out uh, I found out I had to write the tests and yeah, I got I gotta write a lot of tests and the thing is that uh, like remember last week I was talking about the of that feature in ECS library on which this behavior tree library relies upon uh, the feature to delete the systems so I actually yeah I did implement that but I actually have to like make use of this feature in this behavior tree library so the problem is if I define like the same tree but with different um, nodes every time which exactly happens in tests right you create different trees you test them test them etc so the problem is that uh, kind of the systems from those nodes are left behind. So if I define a new tree, the systems from old uh, nodes still function. So that's a problem. And I got to actually, yeah, I got to make use of that feature and yeah, fix that bug. So first I got to write a task that would uh, kind of catch that and only then yeah, the redefinition test. And only then I would be able to implement that and then finally put that uh, library in public. So anyway, I would be using that library in my next project, but I would be talking about that a little bit further. So what else? Yeah, and before putting this library in public, I would have to find or like make the icon for that. And yeah, I'm nowhere near being the graphic designer or whatever. So yeah, it would take me some time to conjure up an icon. Um, <clears throat> Right, so that I would hopefully do next week. And then what else? So basically the whole week I was uh, busy with implementing the macOS build for my projects for the uh, Lisp games, right? So uh, I actually, uh, in my game called Mana Break, uh, links below, uh, I've implemented the build so you can actually install the each uh, IO client and then just install the uh, macOS build from here. So you can see this uh, DMG file, here you have it. And the nice thing about uh, that is that it is built automatically, right? It is built from the CI, from continuous integration, being the GitHub actions. So I actually also added this mechanism to my uh, template for Linux games. So I actually maintain uh, this template called cookie cutter list game. It uses the Python cookie cutter tool to like make the, <clears throat> to use this uh, template and you can totally use it. It supports three different libraries uh, on your taste. So you can select libellegro, you can select raylib, which is quite minimalistic, and you can select sdl2, which is kind of meh, because uh, in common Lisp, the bindings are kind of not in the best shape. Uh, so yeah, my personal favorite is libellegro, and it's the recommended option. So you can actually use this cookie cutter, you can make the new project, and you can upload it on GitHub. You can put the tag, uh, into your uh, repository, you can push that tag. And with that, uh, it would automatically build the uh, game for three major uh, operating systems for Linux, for macOS, for Windows, and for Linux. Have I said Linux? Well, yeah, anyway, for the three major operating systems, and then you can upload them to like each IO or wherever, like I did here. So you can totally play it anywhere. Uh, so yeah, uh, it actually took me quite a while to implement that because uh, there are a few problems with. <clears throat> like with this uh, macOS build using common Lisp. Uh, so I had to conjure up this big bunch of code and most of it is this huge, like terrible hack to actually make it load the library from the correct place. And I'm actually surprised this hack works because what I do here is I just take the binary, the executable binary built by uh, like Lisp system and I just uh, like 
edit the binary in place and I'm replacing this uh, string with this string and this string is shorter so I actually put some zero bytes at the end and I'm actually surprised that works because I would expect like the binaries for macOS to have I don't know some kind of checksums or whatever but or some hashes or something but no they don't have so you can actually just change some string to another like throw in some zero bytes and here you are it works i mean weird that super weird but it works so yeah at least at it works uh, on my uh, like uh, uh, virtual machine where i was testing it so it would be nice if you also download this game if you have mac os and uh, tested it uh, so yeah links below uh, as always uh, so yeah that's what i've been mostly busy with um <clears throat> And I think, I think the next thing I would do next week is to actually partake in some game jam. It's been uh, quite a while uh, from the last time I've uh, like uh, took a part in some uh, game jam. So yeah, I, find, uh, I found out uh, some game jam called Untitled Game Jam. Uh, it happens basically every month. So right now is already 88th. Um, untitled game jam so they have some community in discord and everything and it looks pretty fine it's kind of cool it's not very big and it's not very small it's just the perfect game jam i think it uh, lasts for two weeks so i mean perfect just perfect so it starts february 9th so it's the next friday so i guess they would announce the theme the next friday so yeah i will start um doing the game for that gem and in that game i would use this uh, library of mine this uh, of this behavior tree library uh, so yeah that's my plans uh, that's been yeah the busy mac os week let's call it mac os week uh, so yeah that's uh, what i be doing uh, i be doing next so i have a bunch of plans but not enough time to implement them because yeah i have the full-time job and everything but yeah hopefully i I would do some nice stuff and um and just put it in public and in open source uh so yeah just uh feel free to follow me on twitch on youtube all the links below uh so yeah thank you very much for watching and until the next week bye